Tokyo hotel room. It's literally teeny tiny, but it's has everything we need and more. This is, I guess, our little makeshift closet. It's not that big, but we get sandals, which I'm really excited about. I should take off these dusty old dirty shoes. Door on your left, a little bathroom, has a toilet. Ooh, has like some fancy buttons. <gasps> what? Water heater, seat, flush, fancy look at all of this that's apart from the buttons on the toilet but that's pretty cool water pressure bidet spray <laughs> and then i also found the world's smallest little trash can it's literally like the size of my hand sink and a shower a full body length mirror which is always nice Nice comfy bed, our little sconces, has some like USB charging ports, which is always really nice. And then there's the street right behind us. And then right in front of the bed is this desk. Don't mind those two big backpacks. Our luggage is actually outside because I didn't want to put it in here while we do this little clip, but like I have no idea how it's going to fit. We have a nice big TV, a water kettle, which is really nice. And yeah, a nice little desk to edit our Tokyo videos. Super excited to be here. Good morning, guys. We are officially in Tokyo. I can't believe that. That's pretty crazy. It's the morning after we landed. Yesterday, we honestly didn't really do much. We were so tired. It was a 12-hour flight, which wasn't too bad, but then, you know, landing, it gets, it starts to hit you. We had to wait at the airport to pick up our Japan Rail, like, tickets for about, like, an hour and a half it took forever and we were just standing the whole time and then we decided to take the metro to our hotel and that took about an hour and we were standing the entire time because we had our luggages with us and then we had to bring up our luggage like three flights of stairs to leave the metro like to exit and then it is like the 50 pound bags like they're not small so I thought I pulled my bicep and it was it was a day so we finally made it here we relaxed. We did check out 7-Eleven, which was freaking amazing. I don't know if we have any footage from that, but if we do, I'll put it here. And then we also did a little room tour for you guys. We are staying in Tokyo. It's called the Hamacho Hotel, I believe. Um, and yeah, it's really pretty. It's I love it. The toilet is everything. It's amazing. It's like heated, which is like awesome because you don't want to sit on a cold toilet. But now even compared to like a, like a regular toilet, like the warmth is so nice. I don't know if that makes any sense but anyway i love the hotel the only thing is the room is a little bit small and we have like our two big luggages with us so we're kind of taking up all the space in here and there's already like stuff everywhere behind me but besides that we're gonna take over tokyo today really excited yeah good morning i thought i'd officially kind of start the video and catch you guys up on how our day was yesterday and then we're gonna take you along on our day today Shibuya. upon one of these stores that have like a bunch of little like quarter quarter machines i want something i don't know what i would do with it but like it's so freaking cute they even have like disney things bro they have everything oh, i don't know who this is but it's cute mr roshi oh. oh maybe we should find something like dragon ball z related so oh yeah something right? that we actually like hopefully they have like a little machine that you can put in money and gives out coins oh yeah they do i just see it right there okay. nice Oh, it works. I think we spent too much money. 
Yeah, we gotta leave because we have an issue. So we're gonna keep walking and get away from here. It's addicting to just keep putting coins in and spending and it's literally like the perfect little like casino store for young people. We went to another little convenience store, kind of like 7-Eleven vibes, and I saw this. I really like matcha and the softness of the packaging just made me want to get it. Oh, it's like a little, I thought it was going to be green low-key. It looks like a little biscuit, but it is filled with something. All right. Mm, dude, that cream inside is bomb. It's like, almost like those donuts, Boston cream pie donuts, kind of vibes like that. Don Quixote store. It's pretty famous for having like a little bit of everything. So we're gonna explore and look for anything we can find. This Don Quixote store is pretty big, going down to the bottom floor. I think it's like a grocery store. Yup, groceries. They have the best tequila known to man. That's pretty cool. I mean, most places don't really carry tequila outside of the US, I feel like. At least like known brands when we were in Europe traveling, we never saw like those like standard Jose Cuervo Patron tequilas. It was always like super random ones that we've never heard of. Still said tequila, still said from Jalisco and everything, but not known at least to like the standard American Mexican brand. But they have a lot of alcohol. I'm gonna make my way more into like the grocery produce aisle. I think I was mainly in the drinks and alcohol, which was nice. But I'm not trying to get drunk just yet in Tokyo. Oh my god, y'all. Look at this little layout they got. So far from all the things we've tried at the convenience store, these are our favorite. They're like rice wrapped in seaweed and they're stuffed with like a certain type of meat. Oh my god. Y'all, we're in video game paradise. Yeah, I'm gonna hit up this Nintendo thing because there's like everything Nintendo. It looks really cool. It's crowded in here. I think this is the most crowded place I've seen in all of Tokyo so far. <sighs> we just had lunch. It was amazing. We had some ramen, but we're not going to show that because we're going to make a whole different video. So stay tuned. I don't know if it'll be out by now, but that's a whole different video. It was so good. Definitely recommend. You'll have to watch that video to know where we went. As a must, we came to a bookstore for Karen. Yeah, I don't know if they'll have anything in English, so I'm gonna just look around, scope it out. We're right in front of this like 3D screen here in Shinjuku. Really cool, super trippy. And they also have like this cool cat cafe right next to it and they have like this whole maze and there's like cats just laying in there chilling. What a vibe. <laughs> going to like this really main street, really popular. I'm not sure what it's called, but we're gonna go there, check it out. And I think we're looking for somewhere to eat. We're all kind of pretty tired. We kind of been like dying basically the past hour. We were almost gonna go back actually to the hotel, but we're like, let's go. And we're just fighting through. We made it to the magical street, full of eateries and things to look at. It's called Omioide Yokochu. Omioide Yokochu? Yeah. And basically just like, yeah, bars and restaurants. We didn't eat too long ago, but I kind of want to find like a revolving sushi place. And we're all really tired. So after that, we're probably gonna head back to the hotel, so. You can smell like the charred little meat that they sell in skewers. It looks really good. Uh, mm. Very crowded and all I can smell is like the grill. But... Cake party. Yeah, I don't know what we're gonna get. Oh my gosh, skewers on skewers. <sighs> Finally home after like the longest day of my life. It's only like 5, 6, 7 p.m. But we're so tired. Like we were out all day. We left pretty early and we were just walking the entire day. But anyway, I just want to do a quick clip of like all the random shiz that I bought today because I bought like some random stuff. This thing from 7-Eleven that I was eating, it's um... It's literally just chocolate and whipped cream, but it's pretty good. 
but I, I like opened it and started eating it like right after I left the store and then I realized that like I'm not allowed to eat on the street because that's just like the norm here and Jesus he had his own little dessert and he decided to bypass that warning and he dropped a little piece of cake on the street and we both were like oh my god like it literally was the only piece of trash for like three blocks and then I saw one piece of paper like it was yeah so definitely maybe he learned his lesson I don't know <laughs> I won remember this my mini lint roller which is really cute and I will be using it oh my gosh this is the cutest freaking thing we stopped by a bookstore today like a bookshop and I got this bookmark it has a little cat and it has a coffee and it's like you know one of those ones that you put on like your page so I really like that I love to get bookmarks from like places that I've gone that's kind of people will do keychains people will do shot glasses I'll do bookmarks on these two rings and I'm going to wear this one tomorrow because we're going to somewhere very Disney, if you get my, my drift. Yeah, this is cute too. I bought these contact, it's contact lenses, but it has like, I don't know, this little print on it. Oh, I bought this like um, lip balm. It says lip cream. So this bag, it's like a, oh, it's just a, like a reusable tote, but I really like it because it's small. And it has lemons on it and oh, I don't even want to undo it because I know once I do, I'm not going to be able to put it back nicely like this. So that's it for Tokyo Day 1. We did amazing, I would say, but that's why I'm so tired. Oh yeah, but look how cute too. The hotel that we're staying in gives us pajamas. I'm wearing the pants right now, but Jesus actually wore these pajamas last night and... I don't know, I think he liked it, but they're so cute. I'm wearing the pants, and I don't know like if we're allowed to keep them or not because I would like to keep them if I'm being honest, like they're cute. <laughs> Akihabara, which I think is kind of like the gaming capital. I'm not too sure, but it's like anything pump, pop Funko related, any little figurines, Nintendo games, like gaming. Anything gaming, this is your place to be. You can see behind me, it's pretty busy. It is a Friday, so it's getting closer to the weekend. People are coming out and about. I saw a book off, which if you know, you know it has books and everything that you would want at a really, really good price, so I think I'm going to check that out. I'm eating like my 10th onigiri. This is tuna mayo, and it's like my favorite thing ever here. I have one with spam and rice. The food tour just continues. Here in the city, literally like every 10 steps you see something that you want to taste. Now we have a little thing called the milk pie. And it's basically like this pastry filled with milk, like a milk custard I would imagine. And outside of the shop they just have these stacked up and like with the powdered sugar they just look too good not to try one. So I'm gonna hit it right here in the main little ball. Oh my god. Is it whipped cream? It's like ice cream? Whipped cream? I don't know, I've never had a cream like this before. Oh my god, guys. This is bomb. They had a strawberry one too, and that's the one actually I ordered. But the lady said they didn't have any for the next like 15 minutes. But like all the regular is fine, but this is amazing. My turn. Hmm. Tastes like whipped cream. But when I say whipped cream, I mean the Japanese whipped cream. It's so good. So much better than the one in the US. I don't even like whipped cream over there, but here it's really good.
excited. We are here at Team Lab Planets Tokyo, which is a very, very big tourist attraction. It's kind of like an interactive museum sort of deal. And if you just look it up on Instagram, you'll see why it's so popular. But we're about to line up and head inside. <laughs> it's like a room full of pillows. Oh, why is the camera blurry? Do we break it? Hello? I mean, it's probably the lighting. Oh, <laughs> thought you were broken for a second. <laughs> Tired, Grandpa. Well, it's too damn bad. Literally, like three minutes into the experience, and I'm already sweating. Yeah, low key, this place stinks. Everybody has pata fuera, so it's a little. If you're delicate with smells, watch out. Y'all, that's This looks trippy. so cool. It's getting darker. I feel like I'm in Inception or Interstellar vibes. We're in like knee length, knee deep water and there's like cool projections on the water. Okay, it doesn't look very cool on camera but there's like little fish projections. Let me see if I can kick it. Oh, almost fell. It's not all fun and games. You have to sit down and dry your feet. Today we are in Harajuku, which it's like, it reminds me of like the LA alleys, if you know, you know, because it was super, super crowded. There's lots of like little stores, places to eat, things to do. I got some goodies, bought some souvenirs, but other than that, I it's just too crowded. But a little like 20 minute walk away is this shrine. This is the entrance to it. I believe it's free and it's like a 10 minute walk through there through a little forest and then you hit the shrine. So this is our first shrine in Japan. And we also bought another tuna onigiri, one for each because we're obsessed. And we're gonna do the picnic vibes. Yeah, we can't, we have to keep buying them because I know once I'm over there, I'm gonna be sad that I like didn't eat them when I could have, you know what I mean? So. Have to wash off before going into the shrine water Day here in Tokyo. Last full day. Yeah, kind of sad, but really excited because we still have almost a whole week left. Yeah, but today we are on Kapabashi, Kapadashi Street, which is like a whole street full of like kitchen stuff. Um, and we're here shopping for a knife. We yes. want a Japanese knife. We, I think you guys know, cook a lot at home. You know, it'd be like a perfect souvenir because we do cook a lot at home and like Japan's known for like their knives and blades in general. So I was like, I literally thought about it like a few days ago. I was like, oh my God, Japanese cooking knives. That would be like amazing to get one. Karen found like a, a TikTok that talked about this street and basically said that here's the place to buy them. They're cheaper than online and it's basically the spot where everybody goes. 
So we've been walking up and down and we found one that we really love. And I think we're gonna get it. It's like 120 yeah. dollars so it's pretty pricey. But, but we, we're like, it kind of has everything we were looking yeah. for. We've shopped around a few stores already and we kind of learned like what we are looking for. So it's like stainless steel, has a Japanese handle, which is really, really light. It's perfect all purpose. Um, it's good for, I'm left-handed, he's right-handed, so you can use it both ways. And then it has like a light wood handle, so I think that's the one. And the design, it has a design on the blade and it's literally beautiful. Let's go show you. So we're gonna go get it. <laughs> Look how beautiful this is. It's not crazy big like a super chef's knife but low-key as we've used the knives at home we realized that we prefer smaller dainty ones but yeah we really like the size of this one i feel like for me big blades are very intimidating and i tend to not use them so i think this one is perfect the design on it yeah. has the japanese characters but also like a really pretty design we're running late to our reservation on our last night dinner here in tokyo reservations at five and it's already 505 the rain got us. The subway got us. Alright guys, it is going to be the end of our Tokyo video. We are back in the hotel and we're just going to get ready. We have like our laundry all over the bed because we actually did laundry here in the hotel before we go to Kyoto tomorrow so that we have like clean clothes. Um, so yeah, that's going to be the rest of our night honestly is just putting away our laundry, showering and getting ready to leave tomorrow. But we loved Tokyo. I wish I could stay for longer honestly. It's been one of my favorite places in the entire world and I can't wait to see what Kyoto is like and we'll bring you guys along with us yes y'all thank you so much for watching the video we had an amazing time and honestly i'm really excited to come back like i already miss tokyo even though we haven't left but i, yeah. I know it's like over and it, yeah there's a lot of things that i'm that i'm gonna want to try again or come back just to. explore more yeah so we'll see you guys in kyoto like stay tuned and for those subscribe. videos peace bye